Our nations and our world stand at a genuine inflection point in history. Technology has made our world smaller, more immediate, and more connected. Today, we officially launched the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. We collectively have dozens of projects already underway around the globe. And I'm proud to announce the United States will mobilize $200 billion in public and private capital over the next five years for that partnership. We're here today because we're making this commitment together as a G7 in coordination with one another to maximize the impact of our work. Collectively, we aim to mobilize nearly $600 billion from the G7 by 2027. These strategic investments are areas of critical to sustainable development and to our shared global stability. Health and health security, digital connectivity, gender equality and equity, climate and energy security. The entire world is feeling the impact of Russia's brutal war in Ukraine and on our energy markets. We need worldwide effort to invest in transformative clean energy projects to ensure that critical infrastructure is resilient to changing climate. Critical materials are necessary for our clean energy transition, including the production of batteries, need to be developed with high standards for labor and environment. Fast and reliable transportation infrastructure, including railroads and ports, is essential to moving inputs for refining and processing and expanding access to clean energy technologies. For example, the U.S. government just facilitated a new partnership between two American firms and the government of Angola to invest $2 billion in building the new solar projects in Angola. It's a partnership that will help Angola meet its climate goals and energy needs while creating new markets for American technologies and good jobs in Angola and, I suspect, throughout Africa. And in Romania, the American company New Scale Power will build the first of its kind small modular reactor plant. This will help bring online zero-emission nuclear energy to Europe faster, more cheaply, and more efficiently. The U.S. government is helping advance the development of this groundbreaking American technology, which will strengthen Europe's energy security and create thousands of jobs in Romania and the United States. I want to be clear, this isn't aid or charity. It's an investment that will deliver returns for everyone, including the American people and the people of all our nations. It will boost all of our economies. It's a chance for us to share our positive vision for the future, to let communities around the world see themselves and see for themselves the concrete benefits of partnering with democracies. Because when democracies demonstrate what we can do, all that we have to offer, I have no doubt that we'll win the competition every time. Thank you. Now I invite President Van der Leyen to the podium. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.